Okay, thought I'd do a comparison between my Glock 20 Gen 4 chambered in 10 millimeter auto and my Roland 460 uh, that I've converted my Remington R1 enhanced 1911 uh, now firing and show you the weight comparison between the two and then take them up to the hunting property and I'm sorry the shooting property and show you how uh, I am accurate with them at 25 yards but uh, before that I thought I'd throw in the weights uh, as well of these revolvers chambered in the 480 Ruger uh, so here we have the Super Red Hawk coming in at four pounds nine ounces the revolver plus the six rounds it holds I'll pause the camera and put the uh, Magnum Research BFR up on the scale. Okay, getting the glare out of the picture. The Magnum Research uh, holds five rounds, so I've removed one round, and you can see that it's three pounds, 12.8 ounces. I will remove that from the scale and show you the Roland and the Glock next. All right. Next up is the Remington R1 chambered in 460 Roland with a Chip McCormick 10 round magazine and we are weighing in at 3 pounds 4 ounces. Next up the Glock 20. And now as you can see the Glock 20 weighing in at 2 pounds 9.3 ounces. And that is with 15 rounds of 10 millimeter in the magazine. Uh, so uh, the lightweight uh, wins out. Let's see how we do shooting the 10 millimeter versus the 460 rolling. That's up next. Okay, first up, the 460 rolling. Uh, I've got the uh, Chip McCormick 10 round magazine. And we'll be using some shooting sticks. Gun is hot, already racked. I'm going to take the safety off and uh, send five down range and see how we do. The dead pig there. I'll show you the results in when we're done. Oh. Failure to feed. First one today. Naturally, it's on camera. Keeping it real. These are my hand loads. These are not the underwood. To keep, be fair, I should have probably done the uh, underwood. I'm trying to look downrange too quick to see uh, how my shot placement was. Pulled the last one. I think I've got one more. Oh, I loaded all ten, but I was only going to show you five because this is an expensive round. Uh, let's drop the mag, show you how uh, we clear the weapon. And uh, show you how I did and then break out the uh, 10 millimeter. And again, keeping it real, four on the chest, three in a pretty good group. And I'm embarrassed to say I, that one I said I pulled is way up here. So uh, 
we won't hang our hat on that. Let's go back and shoot the 10 millimeter. All right, swapped it out, changed out the target. Never shot the 10 millimeter off the sticks. This ought to be interesting. Gun is hot. You know, I pulled that last one. I guess I'm getting cocky. Uh, let's pause the camera and go down and show you how I did. Okay, better group here uh, off the sticks with uh, the one that I pulled for in the center mass and uh, went up a little high. But, uh, and this was the 200 grain. Uh, XTP uh, Hornady XTB bullet loaded by Underwood and again to be fair I was uh, shooting hand loads in my 460 Roland uh, I forgot to bring my uh, uh, factory uh, Underwood uh, 460 Roland uh, loads up here to the range that might have improved the accuracy a little there all right that wraps it up thanks for watching little postscript uh, there's where my butt was along with the shooting sticks and then coming down here and showing you down range uh, you can see uh, it's 25 yards to that uh, target down there and uh, just to demonstrate uh, the target wasn't 10 feet in front of me <laughs> okay now thanks for watching